Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we will continue with the transaction topic. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen what is transaction and what is the nature of transaction and what are the three commands that we will be, we'll be using in order to save or undo the transaction. So those are commit, rollback and save point as I mentioned. So here is a, a small pictorial diagram that I created just for you guys for the better understanding. So it's nothing but whenever a transaction is done, that means a change is done, it is stored, that change is nothing but stored in a temporary buffer. So when you say commit, okay, uh, at that particular point of time, whatever the data, whatever changes that is performed or stored in this temporary buffer will go back to the table and it is saved permanently over there. That is what the commit, uh, commit, commit command is used for. But when the transaction happens and the change is stored in the temporary buffer, and you give this command called rollback then obviously rollback is nothing but which will delete whatever transaction or it will undo the whatever transaction that was done previously so it will just erase the temporary buffer whatever data is present in the uh, temporary buffer till there it will it will roll back that means it will undo that transaction so this is what the this pictorial diagram uh, represents hope you guys are able to grasp things very easily but what is this save point? Save point is very simple. Uh, just like our rollback and uh, rollback on the commit. So save point is nothing but uh, is a point uh, uh, in a transaction when you can roll the transaction back to a certain point without rolling back the entire transaction. Then it is called as save point. So I'll give you a few examples uh, for this. First, let me tell you what is save point. Save point is nothing but is a. Let me just stop using caps here. Is a point in a transaction when you can roll the transaction back to a certain point without rolling back the entire transaction this is what is called as save point okay so how the syntax of the save point uh, looks like is just say save point and the save point name you can give any name that you want so that is what is called as uh, so that is how the syntax of save point looks like okay for example I'll just give you a few example here I am going to say save point point uh, let me just say sp1 okay and then I'm going to say delete uh, something like delete from table where something and then I'm going to say another uh, I'm going to give another command called uh, save point sp2 okay and then I'm going to say delete from table to where something I'll give some condition so this is what is the save point we have given sp1 we have created save point sp1 and sp2 now I will say roll back sp2 when I give this command roll back sp2 it will just roll back till sp2 whatever deletion that happened right after creating the sp2 that will get rolled back but this sp1 transaction will remain the same that means the deletion whatever happened here will remain the same it will not get rolled back only this still here it will get rolled back that is the reason I said roll back sp2 okay so hope you guys understood what is save point so this is how you will be uh, using but instead of giving just um, instead of saying sp2 if you simply give roll back then it will roll back whatever transaction happened till now it will roll back everything it will discard everything that is what is simply when you say rollback 
when you give rollback along with the uh, save point name then it will roll back till the save point whatever was created at that particular point of time okay hope you guys are understanding so what if you want to remove the save point to remove the save point it's very simple how to remove is uh, it's nothing but just say release save point and give some save point name like sp1 or sp2 or whatever so the save point will get removed so hope you guys understood till here and um, i hope even the this tutorial came into use and uh, you had a better understanding what is transaction and what are the three commands and how we can use it so in the next uh, video i'll discuss about the properties of the transaction that uh, most of us are not aware of i mean we know that it is the acid acid that's what it is commonly used but we don't know the exact meaning what it actually is so i'll come up with that video and uh, I, um, i'll see you in the next tutorial then uh, till then please keep supporting my videos and like my videos and comment if you have any doubts um, i'll try to get back to you and uh, thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.